Hi there, in this video, I wanna share with you how you can export multi-layered sound effects inside of Reaper that are being routed into a group folder, a group bus, that have dynamic processing being applied to each of the layers. All right, with that said, if you are new here and are a video game sound designer, I have a gift for you. It is my sound designer starter pack. It's a sound pack I uh, put together of over 900 different sounds. There's everything from monster sounds and spell sounds, UI sounds, a whole bunch of different things in there that you can use for your personal projects as well as your commercial projects. So if you're interested in picking that up, make sure to check the link in the description. All right, with that said, let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper and here I created this little magical spell sound uh, without any processing on it. It sounds like this. So I decided to add a few things here just for the sake of uh, showing this example. One is I wanted to put a compressor on here so it was really obvious how the uh, volume was getting ducked. So let's have a listen to this now. Right, so you can really hear the volume dipping quite a lot. I made it really aggressive just for the sake of this tutorial. And then the other thing I did here is I added Sooth 2 here just to kind of suppress and, and bring down some of the uh, frequencies, especially in, in the bell ringing sound at the end here. Sounds like this. All right, so we can really hear how the sound is being changed. Now, if we wanted to export this, what we could do is go to our render menu. All right, so if we pull up our render menu here, there's a few things that we're gonna wanna tweak here if we wanna render each of these files individually. We're gonna wanna go into our dropdown here and select selected tracks via master. This is gonna make sure that we have our effects applied to each of these here. So now I'm just gonna select all three here, make sure I have all three selected, perfect. And now I'm just gonna select a file name. So this is just gonna be magic layer and then I'm just gonna choose file count number. So it's gonna count up from 001, 002, 003. Let's export this. All right, perfect. Let's bring it back in here and let's have a listen to what this sounds like here. Now, what you'll notice is that this actually didn't work and didn't apply the effect equally to each of the layers. And the reason for that is because when we're exporting, it's actually exporting one, one layer at a, at a time. So it's gonna solo this one layer here and then it's gonna export it like this. So if we listen to this, that should be the exact same sound here. And it is. Same thing with this one. And then this one. And then finally this last layer. Now the issue with doing it this way is that when we solo a certain layer like this, whatever's triggering the compressor here is gonna be different every single time. So if we listen to this one, we have this kind of U shape. If we listen to this one here, you have this kind of really much longer shape. And then when you have this one here, you have again, this kind of awkward U-shape thing here. So every time they're getting exported, they're being exported with different settings, but that's not what we want. We want to have the same setting, which is having all the sounds being routed into the compressor, which sounds like this. It has this kind of shape to it. So how do we do that? Unfortunately, there's not really a quick way that you can do it inside of Reaper as far as, uh, as I'm aware. So if somebody does know, please leave it down in the comments below, but I'm going to show you a way that you can get around uh, doing this. So for now, I'm just going to delete this and here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is export a full mix of these three layers together. So I'm gonna take off all of our effects here. We don't want any of our effects in, in this. We just want just these together. So right now, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna export, I'm gonna do master mix because I wanna make sure it's all of these. And this is gonna be my master sound effects. So I'm just gonna call it master sound effects. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we add the rendered item back into the project. So I'm gonna render that right now. Here we go. And here it is. I'm just gonna put this at the top here. All right, so now we have this file here that is the exact same as these three. So if you have a listen. It's the same as these three without any of the effects on. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. So next, we don't actually wanna hear this, so I'm gonna take this off because we don't want to actually hear this. What we're actually gonna use this for is to sidechain to our effects. So I'm just gonna label that sidechain so we know what we're doing here. And now we can turn these effects back on, but like I said before, we don't want these layers to be affecting this. We want a combination of all these layers to be affecting this, and that's what this sidechain here is doing. So now I wanna route this into here. Perfect, I wanna make sure I turn on the sidechain on the plugin here. So now if I play it here, we can see that it's actually activating it. So that's perfect. Now I wanna do the exact same thing here with Sooth 2. I'm just gonna route it into here. Perfect, and I'm gonna to wanna to make sure the sidechain is on. Now that should work. So if I play this again here, we can see it, it's actually moving, even though this is not playing. So that's perfect. So now these two effects are being triggered by this sum here, which we can't actually hear, not by individual layers. So now when we export them, it should work. Oh, one last thing you wanna do is to actually make sure that you solo defeat this cha this uh, track here. What that means is that when you solo one channel here and when you export it, um, this is still gonna play and be triggering the effects. If not, what'll happen is you'll solo this track, this one is gonna be muted and it won't trigger the compressors and everything else. So make sure you solo defeat that. All right, now with that done, what we wanna do is solo the first track here and I'm gonna hit export. We wanna make sure that we select master mix here or else it won't work. I'm gonna label it magic layer one. 
and I'm just going to render that. And I'm going to do the same thing with each subsequent layer here. Perfect. And now if we drag these back in, now these two should sound the same. So let's have a listen. And they do. So the, dyna the dynamic processing that was applied to these three has now been applied to these three layers. So now these are ready to go. And if we want to import them into whatever project or submit them to a client, they're ready to go. All right. Now it can be kind of tedious to do this, especially if you have a lot of different layers, like this is only three layers, but let's say your sound effect had 10 or or 12 or even more layers, it can be really tedious to solo the first layer, export, and then go in through one at a time and to, to be able to go through and export that. So there's actually a quicker way that you can do it and that's using the stem manager. And the stem manager is actually a Reaper script that you can download. I'll put a link in the description in case you don't already have it, uh, but you can download, it's free. And basically what it does is it'll create stems and so that you can, when you export them, it'll go through and export them uh, one at a time so that you don't have to manually go through and export it one at a time. So. Uh, let me kind of show you what it is here. All right, so this is stem manager here. This is what it looks like when you load it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is create stems and you're gonna want one individual stem for each of the individual layers. So I'm just gonna select one, it's gonna be layer one. And then again, layer two and layer three. There you go, just like that. And then for each layer, you're gonna wanna solo just one track because we're gonna export them individually. If you solo two, that means you're gonna export two of them together. So I don't want that, so I'm gonna take it off, right? And that's it. Once you have those layers uh, created, next you wanna go into your settings. And here you can see you have uh, different groups here. And this is by uh, the render setting groups here. So you can have different settings uh, and export settings based on the group. So we're all doing group one. We all want the exact same settings. So we're not changing these. So, um, and here is your uh, render presets. And the render presets you can actually find inside of your render menu here. So these are your presets, which you can find down here. So uh, once you have those set up, there's two things that you actually need for your preset. One is that you need to have the money, uh, money sign and stem in the file name. And then the other one is that you need to have the master mix selected. Once you have those two done, then you should be set to be able to use that as a preset in the stem manager. So I'm gonna go back into here. Stem Manager, I've already selected my preset right here. Right here, I like to put uh, to the lowest amount of render time between because my plugins don't need that much time to wait between here. And that's about it. Nothing else is really changing in here, so I just click OK. Now, if I'm ready to render right away, I can just hit Render Immediately, and it should render those files. So I've already have those files names in my folder that I'm putting them in, so I'm just gonna overwrite them here. And you can see here, I don't have to wait or do anything. I don't have to manually do it. It's just gonna automatically do it. And there you go. So now once I have that, I can put them in into here, and now here's the sound. Right, so that's just a really quick way to work around it, especially if you have multiple layers. It's gonna be a lot quicker and you don't have to do so much manual work to be able to do it. All right, so I hope you found that video useful and valuable. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I, do, I always do my best to answer them. And uh, if you wanna see another video about Reaper and doing quick sound effects and lots of variations inside of Reaper. I actually made a video uh, showing exactly how you can do that inside of Reaper. So make sure to check it out if you're interested. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching all the way through to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.